I first talked to Sarah the day after my son was murdered. She called me on the phone, told me who she was from crime victims, and asked me if there was some way, how sorry she was, and if there was some way she could help me. Donna is a remarkable human being, and um, I feel so honored to have been a part of her journey. She just helped me sort out my initial panic and just unbelievable sorrow and walked me through the court system and how it works and what the next steps were, took me by the, my hand, helped me through everything. The criminal justice system is a complicated system and it's an imperfect system. So the DA's office, their job is to protect the people. The law enforcement, their job is to investigate the crime. And at Crime Victims, our job is to support survivors and to um, be their voice when they need it to be and to advocate for them. Well, you definitely cannot do this job without a huge amount of empathy. We tend to meet people at some of the worst times in their life. Sarah really has a great ability to be able to sit with people and hold a safe space for them while they're navigating through this process. She also really has that ability to meet people where they're at and understands that there's not a one-size-fits-all approach for working with survivors. Losing a child is horrible in any way, but then to lose a child through murder is a whole nother level. The one thing about Sarah that always stands out to me is that she never judged us. She never came in with any preconceived ideas of what we were like or what he was like. She was just there to help. I think the thing that's most effective for people is to really be seen and heard. And for me, I can't do that unless I'm truly present with somebody. And that means holding what this person is going through. Well, when I first interviewed Sarah, I knew she would be great for this job, even though she was new to the criminal justice portion of the job. Uh, you can teach people the criminal justice facts and the resources available and those kind of skills, but you really can't teach somebody to be empathetic, to be kind, to be caring. And I knew she's an out-of-the-box thinker, and I know she's somebody that could come up with different solutions to help people move forward. So our office has been around since 1979 and we work with uh, victims of violent crime and it was recognized that they have a very special set of needs and so our department was created to be able to meet those needs and I support them through criminal justice processes. I help them even if there isn't a criminal justice process. I go to the SANE unit which is uh, where people get evidence collected if they've had a sexual assault or go to the courthouse to help them through preliminary hearings or grand juries or trials so that people understand what their rights are and what their options are so they can start making choices again. When the forensic report came out and when the autopsy report came out, we actually left the building. She took me out for coffee so I wouldn't have to see that. She really has been everything to me. It's a really difficult process to go through and people don't necessarily understand their options, um, what their choices are. And uh, I try and take a holistic approach to what that looks like. And I meet every survivor where they're at and listen for what's gonna help them move forward. It's really in feeling like they've been seen and heard and supported and not pushed to do something that they're not ready to do. Just reflecting on what they need and and, and not bringing judgment into it um, is really try, how I try to interact. Sarah has a sparkle about her and she's just one of those people that believes in elevating those around her, whether it be survivors, friends, co-workers, and I think by doing that we make each other stronger and we make ourselves stronger and I feel very lucky to have her in my life. She allowed me and empowered me to be able to stand in front of the court and tell them about my son, about his life, about his creativity, who he was as a person and a man, who he was to us. He was my firstborn. I was only 17 when I had him. She's worthy of this because at a time, one of the darkest times in my life, she was able to come in and say, this darkness is not gonna envelop you. You're going to get through it, and you're going to do all right.
When I found out that I was honored and, a, and offered this award um, and that Donna put me forward, I just, whoo, so moved, so moved and so honored and um, I feel seen. You know, this work is really hard and really rewarding and um, and we don't get a lot of opportunity to hear, you know, how helpful we are. And I feel like this is not just for me, but this is for my whole team. I love what I do and I, I am glad to be here for the community. Thank you.